Well, those are a couple interesting points, but we, we have earned more on American assets owned outside this country than people outside this country have earned on assets in this country. I, I mentioned that in the annual report this year. It did flip. The net balance flipped in the other direction in the most recent quarter, and my guess is it keeps going in that direction. There are a lot of reasons for that. Uh, one important reason uh, a year or two ago was the fact that, that foreigners owning our t Treasury bonds were getting as little as, you know, a little over 1 percent. So if the rest of the world owned a trillion of our bonds and got 1 percent, that was 10 billion. And if we owned a trillion of their bonds and got 4 percent, you know, that was that would have been 40 billion. And and the higher the lower interest rates in this country, the higher interest rates abroad just simply meant that you got paid that, that you were going to have with a balance of investment, you were going to have uh, a favorable net balance in, in, in interest income in this year. We were earning more on our assets abroad than they were earning here. That is turning somewhat. I mean, our interest rates have been increased. Now, they didn't all own short maturities or anything of the short sort. And, and it may well be that our direct investment, as opposed to our marketable securities investment, our direct investment abroad was made at earlier times and returning higher returns. But over time, it's going against us. Now, when you get into the, the, net, the net debtor position that we're in, which is now over $3 trillion, that, that varies with, the, with what the dollar is doing because, uh, say, in recent weeks, the dollar is weakened, and that means that that brings down actually our net our net debtor position. That's why inflation could be something that becomes a a, a real attractive possibility to politicians in the future. But I wouldn't. It, it's not a huge factor. I know, I know what you're talking about in terms of of those year-to-year -year variances in the net debtor position. They, they're affected much more by the actual currency that's changed that's been made because they're expressed in dollars. And if the, if the dollar gets weaker, it makes us look better uh, for the time being. Uh, overall, that will not be what determines the consequences three, five, or ten years from now in terms of the current account problems um, or in terms of the possibility of them of currency exacerbating uh, some other kind of chaos in markets. Charlie? This is not a field to which I've devoted the same attention as Warren. And, but I do share his general pessimism that eventually there will be a price to pay for the course we're on. Where I've disagreed a little with Warren is I've always felt there was more ruinous behavior that could be tolerated in a great place, probably, than he does. It's just amazing how much ruinous behavior you can get by with if you're a successful governor, government. Now, if you, st if you start with a lousy reputation as a government, it, it doesn't work that well. But when you start with the reputation the United States had, uh, the people who expected instant calamity, I think, were wrong. It, uh, yeah, if you landed from Mars, you'd probably still rather land in the United States than anyplace else. <laughs> if you stop to think about this subject, oh, you, do you want to invest in Europe where, you know, 10 or 12 percent are of the young people are unemployed because of their crazy employee security policies, and a lot of 28-year-olds are living at home and going to university because it's a fairly comfortable way to kind of while away the time with the state paying for most of it. Do you want to go into a place with fabulous assets like Brazil with a lot of political instability that you fear, or Venezuela. So it isn't as though all the other options look wonderful compared to us. And, and 
So I don't, I don't think it's just totally irrational that everybody still likes the United States in spite of its faults. And so that gives me some feeling that, that what I would regard as fiscal misbehavior on our part could go on quite a long time without paying the due price. Yeah, and I agree with that. Although I, there's always the potential when you're doing something dangerous <laughs> that it can, it can get accelerated. We, generally speaking, if you had to bet on anybody to get away with misbehavior fiscally for a long time, you would bet on the United States. And, and we still think it's by far the best place to be. And we have a majority of our assets in it. We just recognize certain things going on that, uh, that could cause significant problems, uh, particularly in markets. Number